What up? What up? What up, YouTube? Back again with another video for you guys today. Man, after yesterday's post, I went on another five game losing streak. How you like that? How tough this stuff is. So you know what I decided yesterday? I was like, that's it. I'm giving this game a break. I'm taking a break. I'm stepping away from Madden. I'm going outside. I'm going to enjoy the sun. And come back and see what we could do today. So today, Chicago Bears against the Washington Redskins. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with this game. He goes on offense here first. First and 10, Washington Redskins. So let's go. See what he's coming out here with first. I'm trying to try this new defense, but uh, it's not going to work. What I'm trying to do is put my two safeties in hook zones. Put my middle linebacker in the blue zone up the middle. And play another yellow zone with my second linebacker. And then put our cloth flats on the outside. But my problem with this defense is I can't get any rush. If I'm rushing less than four, I can't get to the quarterback. It's a waste of time. Look at this. It's a waste of time. So he's hitting me with all these plays underneath. Or well, it's actually running uh, uh, corner strikes. Which this corner strikes and this other play, this play right here. End up being his entire MO. And it's hard to stop. And you see why, like, later on. Well, not this play, right? But I'll show you a play when he does it again. It's a hard play to stop. And I'll, I'll show you why. Because what he's doing is just reading high-low. And if I play cloud flats, he hit underneath. If I play hard flats, he just hit the guy running towards the sideline. When he runs the play again, I'll break it down for you. Show you what he's doing. Right here, I'm just, you know, trying to stop it. He's like, he has quick audibles as well, set up. With the close and the bunch formations, you know, you know, the, you know the whole deal. So this is the defense here. I'm still trying to set up. So, you know, in the initial part, you know, let me just see if you know if it works. There goes the hook zones with the safeties. <laughs> and it, oh, but the thing is, it's a coverage defense. But if you have really, really good rushers, if you can rush your three, but I can't, I can't get any uh, pass rush. He, because you could just sit in the pocket, and like I said, you let the routes cross the zones, and it's a wrap for you. And that's what ends up happening. Double drags underneath. Hit this one right here. All right, you know, good play. Good play. I mean, he was a straight up player. Don't get me wrong. It's just a lot of stuff. Just you know, just certain play. This, I think this is the play right here. Grant is going to just stay down because he's running an option play. Okay, that's not it. That's not it. It's a different one. But what happened is Grant runs an option play, but he just stays there, and then the slot receiver runs a deep post. So it's like I, I gotta choo choose. My it's almost a version of this play right here, but that's not the play. I'll show you the play if he does it again. It's off of three one one, but this is corner strikes. Either corner strikes or wham. Which one is it gonna be? Double drags in the post. Well, you know, just no take notes of, the, of his plays because it was the same. Really, this play right here is like the same four or five plays all game. It's like four plays on offense and. Probably the same amount on defense too that he just ran most of the game. So, alright, you know, good first drive. He gets in the end zone. I'm not taking, I'm not taking any credit away from him. He played straight up. It's just like I said, his the way he was running his plays or quote unquote scheme. Yeah, it could be problematic later on in the game if I don't if I don't find a way to nip it in the butt. As you know, as always, when you play. You no, know, like top end players, you can they have their schemes they run. And like I said, it's just a matter of finding a way to take the power plays out of their their playbook. Those power plays that gives them like a lot of yards. If you can find a way to stop them, have them switch up. You know, then you do a better chance of winning the games because then they have to improvise. And a lot of times, people get into their comfort zone. We're like, hey, this is my comfort plays. This is the plays I like to run. And if you can find a way to stop it, that's where the frustration you can see frustration on my opponent later on in the game. He actually paused the game <laughs> after a while because <laughs> it was just, you know, it was too much. But I'm trying to tie this ball game up. And let's see what our 79 overall offense can bring to the table. Come on, offense. Let's do this. Ah, he was supposed to be running a 15-yard comeback. I don't know what he's going, still running off the field. So that's an incomplete pass. Some, you know, sometimes I make bad reads too. Because he was blitzing all, and some parts of the field was wide open. I just didn't see him during the game. That's right. I already know the top was going to be open. And also, watch my line. Like, watch when I'm rushing and watch when he rushes. Like, watch the line. Like, he wasn't even blitzing some of the times, and he was rushing four guys. And those four guys can manage to get in the backfield. Those four guys, they'll get in the backfield. You know, that's what I need for my defense. I need pass rush. I need solid, strong pass rush. 
So I'm still moving here. He's trying to understand his defense is playing. I think he's playing off of uh, either cover, like three four cover, I think. Oh, over. So not not cover, but over three four over. So I'm gonna hit him with this play right here. Here comes the blitz. Here comes the blitz. Got picked up. Maybe convert. Now we're down to fourth and two. Fourth and two. And this is when I see you come to play. Look at Miller, my tight end. He came to play today. He came to play today. Give me those. First down. When he extended his arm out there, I thought he was going to drop the ball. I was going to like, come on. And he held on to it. What a catch, Miller. That's how you come to ball. He came to ball today. Come on. Let's get in this end zone. Hey, remember what I told you guys? Once you get into the red zone, it's best to just start aiming for the red for the the end zone from right now because you know the closer you get, the harder it is to throw in there. So I'm gonna try to take a shot at the end zone here, and I hit him right in the middle. Touchdown, Chicago Bears! Tie ball game. All right, we back on defense, and let's see if he can if he shows the play I'm telling you about. I mean, it's a good play. You can guys probably look look. It's called like a six jet something when i see i'll, I'll show it to you it's a good play i don't mind even like grabbing that play and putting it in my playbook i've never ever seen that play before it's a good really really good play so if you want to steal it from here you can still add it to your playbook and you know and use it online it's a real, real tough defense to stop i was like man i was like there's no way i'm stopping this so what i end up doing to try to limit it is bring him into my red zone as usual and then stop it in the red zone so it's one of those big hidden plays so let's see if he does it here Nope. This is either corner strikes or that post drag. Let's see which one is it. which one it is. Corner strikes or post drags. Post drags. It's post drags. See? Same thing, man. Let's see, it's corner strikes. Corner strikes this time. Cause I, I did the cover four blitz that I always do. It caught him off surprise, so now I'm doing a man blitz. Oh, uh, see here goes with a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spreading my guys out in case he does the corner so I can play play them more effectively if he tries to run the corner. Well, I think he ran out of time here. He got a penalty, I think. Oh, I jumped off sides? Oh, man. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. What's the point of having coaching adjustments if you can't use them? It's like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why have them and you can't even use it? It's like, man. I hope they fix it next year because that's just terrible. You have this stuff, but you can't even use it because you guys jump off sides every time. When all else fails, bunch formation. When all else fails, bunch formation. Come on, let's go. I think that guy right there is running a drag. Oh, he's running the post out. I see the double drags underneath, so it's still a pain to stop. I mean, you can stop it by just putting like cover underneath. But then what that exposes you for is that's what, he, what he's looking for is a deep post. I think it's this. No, this is not it. This is either uh, corner strikes. Corner strikes. Yep, corner strikes. Corner strikes. Corner strikes. See, this is where the dilemma I was facing all game. I can take the drags away, but then it exposes like what he just does, what he did right there. It exposes the corner strikes. So it's hard. The only way to really stop it is play man with the inside linebackers on it and play claw flats over the top. But you know, like I said, I don't do the button mash and stuff. I just play. Like some of it's bound to happen. Like I don't even trip. The way I just figure out stop it this time is just like I always do is bring him to the red zone. Because you can, if you are really good with the sticks, just man your outside linebackers to the tight ends that run the uh, the outs and then just play claw flats on the outside and you stop you stop that play. I just don't feel like doing all that. That's that ain't my thing. I do uh, I just don't want I still don't want to learn I don't want to learn it. Although I was trying to learn it in the beginning of my first series, I was trying to do the quick audibles and but eh, that's that's not how I play. That's not how I play. Come on to the red zone. That's how I play. Oh, man. She let me hit him. She let me hit him. All right. Second and seven. He's coming in here slowly. See, corner strikes again. Let's see what this one could be. This probably could be a, that went. Ah, oh, this mistake I made. Look at my linebacker. I'm out of position. Ah. Oh, part of the Red Sea. Right into the end zone. Ties the game. Ah, oh, gets the lead. See? Mistakes, man. That's the offensive mistake. I should have known the wham was coming. And the best way to stop the wham, like, I just blitz all of my linebackers on the middle. Then there's no way, there's no, nobody gets shielded. 
the guy they're pulling guard that pulls over once he blocks the other guy the other linebacker just comes and tackles the running back and, but you have to know what's coming too that's that's the vulnerability of it and then since he's been running kind of strikes all day it's kind of like hard for me just to blitz everybody up the middle and he's so high he gas me up the middle with that last pass so it's yeah so that's what i'm facing here in the beginning parts of the game i'm struggling to stop his offense and if that continues to the rest of the game you guys already know it's gonna be trouble <laughs> so I'm offense here. I'm trying to see if I can score before halftime. See if I can get in the end zone before halftime. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm mad. So I'm like, I'm going to give him some of his dose of his own medicine. Let's give him some corner strikes. But, you know, Howard drops the ball. That's his weak point. He can't catch. That's why you always see me run Cohen out the backfield when I'm passing. Because Howard is real terrible at catching. That stuff happens. There's nobody around him and he still drops the ball. So I'm trying to run corner strikes in a different formation. You guys don't never really see me do this. Like I'm, I'm always, no matter how hard the game is for me, I still try to play as fair as possible. Even though like my opponent might not be caring. You see the right, the right side of the field, how wide open that was? O was open. X was open, my tight end. I'm looking over to the left. The other side of the field is wide open. You know, it's just mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. And the stuff, that stuff costs. Here I should have known he was blitzing. <clears throat> my running back's wide open. Look at my running back. The total misreads. Misreads. So I'm trying to call that same play again. Hopefully he's blitzing and I catch my running back, but then he calls a timeout. Like, dang it. <sighs> <sighs> but, forcing it. Now look at this. I don't even get touched. Look at this. Catch. How? How? Oh, man. I'm telling you. I can't catch a break sometimes. It's all good. Hey, here's the play I'm talking about right here. You see the guy right here? And see the, the, the slot receiver run that post? Run that play again and watch that play. He's supposed to be running a drag, but he has an option. See, he has an option to run a drag or stay still. He just stays still. The slot receiver runs a post, and that kills. But defense, let's go. We can't let him get in the end zone. What you got? Get down here. I don't think so. Not in my red zone. Not in my red zone. Come on, defense. He doesn't have any more timeouts. If he sacks, that's the end. That's the end of the second quarter. What are we going to do, defense? We're going to bring him down again. That's what I'm talking about. That's coming the ball. Let's go. Let's go. He's kicking the ball off. Cohen's like so hyped out of halftime. Cohen is hyped. Cohen is hyped. He said, let's take this to the house. Let's take this to the house. Touch down. Bears in the end zone. That's what I'm talking about. Come in the ball. Come in the ball, Terry Cohen. Let's ball. Let's go. 14-14. Let's get back on this defense. See if we can stop this play that he's doing. He's running that post drag. The corner strikes. That um, jet six play I'm telling you about. With the post and the option routes. Let's see if we can do something about it. Because we're sick of this. We're sick of this. Let's go. Let's go, defense. Get on the field. Let's go. Everybody get hyped on the sidelines. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. We're tired of losing. We're tired of losing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, defense. Get on the field. Oh, my defense is hyped. My defense is hyped. My defense is hyped. Let's go. He comes out here. What is this? Is it another core strikes? No, nah, no, nah, they try to throw the comeback. But it's out of bounds. Let's go, defense. Ooh, what you got? I was playing a uh, uh, cover three bay right there. Uh oh. One, two, two. Corner strikes or pose drags. <laughs> I'm over there trying to move my guys to the outside in case he's doing that corner strikes. But this could be a, this is could be the post drag, the double drag. So they go double drags, post drag. Yep. Ah, oh, he's killing me with this stuff. Come on, defense. It's all good. As long as we don't give up any big plays, bring him into the red zone, and we try to stop him in the red zone. So here goes this jet play I'm telling you about. Watch the slot receiver is going to run that post. There he goes. See 80 is running that post, and then here goes the guy staying down. If I take on top, see you jump down down low. Best way to really stop it, like I said, is to put my outside linebacker, man him up against 
uh, the guy underneath. That's the really best way to stop it, but I'm being lazy, man. I'm just being lazy. I don't want to learn the controls. <laughs> I told you, I mean, I'm a casual gamer. I just play the game as is, and I still have fun playing the game as is. So let's go. Playing cover three bear here. See if he's running that same play again. I think he is. Yep, I think he is. I think he's running that play again. But I'm playing claw flats on the outside this time. See, there goes the same play. Just always throws it to the opposite side. I thought I should have got picked though. But he didn't get out there to the sidelines fast enough. So it's the same play again. Jet six drive. Good play. I think you guys should check that play out. Put it in your playbook or something. It's a tough play to stop. I think he's running it again. I think he might be running it again. Yeah, I think he might be running it again. I always got to take that claw flats out. Because see, that deep post kills. Yeah, that deep post kills. He ran out of time again here, I think. Yep. All right, the second time he's done that. Delay a game. Corner strikes or drag post. Which one is this? Oh, he goes to the bunch. It's all good. It's still going to be like uh, double drags. He's going to send that guy in motion again, if I, if I believe. Send his tight end in motion. There he goes. And he's going to run a drag across. Goes the double drags underneath. It's, it's, it's like uh, it's the same play as uh, the drag post that he runs. He just does it off a bunch, but it's the same concept, same thing. But come on, defense! He's gonna run the wham. This is the wham. There goes the wham. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Fourth and one. Come on, defense! Let's go. We're tired of this. We're tired of losing. My guys came to ball today. We came to play today. What is this? Oh, he must be running that same thing again. So what I'm doing right here, I'm playing underneath coverage. Yeah, hard flats. Because I'm figuring those double drags are coming again. There goes double drags. There goes the double drags. One, two. He tries to throw the post on top. Come on, come on. Get down here. Drops the ball. Turn over on downs. Get off the field. Get off my field. Let's go, offense. See if we can get in there. This is the Jordan Howard Show. The Jordan Howard show begins right now. Let's go. Hit him underneath. Six yards. <clears throat> Figure out run the ball. Watch this cutback. Watch this cutback. Play the middle of the field. Look at this cutback. Look at that cutback. Look at that cutback. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go to the house. Touch down there. Who in there? We in here. We in here. All right, 21-14. We're still battling. We're still battling. I still got to get back on defense and play those three, four plays again. <coughs> Tough place to stop. A tough place to stop. I'm putting him in a bind. Like I said, I'm just going to keep giving him everything underneath and keep slowly working him into my red zone because that's the best way for me to stop it. I don't want to give up those big plays. I really don't. So, at least I'm trying not to. It's just sometimes it can be difficult. And you forget, and then I, then I got to take risks. Like I blitz up the middle like this. I'm blitzing here. So, but I, I didn't account for. His tight end. I should have known they're going to be running double drag. I should have crisscrossed my man. See, there goes the drags underneath. So I think I'm able to just get a couple of yards. Second and five. But see, I was trying to compensate for it again, but I overcompensated for the tight end. But this thing is running the corner strikes. See, look, I bring uh, Kalian in, but he's running outside. Ah. So he gets me outside, and of course, he does the double juke move that kills everybody. So, all right, we just got to bring him down the red zone. Come on, guys, let's tackle him. Good job. Good job. Come on, defense. We in my area. We in my town. This is where we stand up and do what we do. Let's go, defense. Can we have a goal night stands, everybody? Get on your feet. Come on, defense. Who what you got? Who what you got? Let's go. First and goal. Come on, D. Try to run up the middle. No. Get down here. Sit down. Second and goal. No huddle. What are we going to do? Is he trying to pass? Is he trying to pass? Is he trying to pass? Come on, D. What you got? What you got? You're not going anywhere. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we got him with a sack. He 
goes down. He goes down. Come on. Third and goal. Call time out. Time out, coach. Time out, coach. Time out, coach. Woo! I don't think so. You're not getting here today. Not today. Come on. <clears throat> Third and goal. You got to stop from getting the end zone here. I got anticipated like corner strikes. I'm going to play claw flats. I'm trying to cover any type of corner strike activities. Any out routes. And I just worry about, worry about the middle. Let's see what he's running. There it goes. There goes the deep post. Uh -uh, I got that shit covered. Let's go. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah. Defense. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think so. We came here to ball today. We came to ball today. Let's get back on offense. Come on, offense. Let's shut this thing down. Come on, Jordan Howard Show. Let's go. Oh, go tackle. Go tackle. Go tackle. Go tackle. So, all right, let me come out here with a, with a play action. Hopefully he thinks I'm running again. Hopefully he thinks I'm running again. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, look at the tight end. Up the field. Good game. Good game. Ooh, that was a big hit. Ooh, that was a big hit. All right, come on. First down. Let's not run the ball one more time. Come on, Jordan Howard Show. Let's go. What we got, Jordan? Let's go. Uh-uh, he got blocked. I'm on the outside. Inside. Back outside again. Back inside again. Oh, Jordan Howard to the house. Touchdown. Second wrong run of the game. All right, we still find this game. Two touchdowns up. Two touchdowns up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I know I'm going to get a heavy dose of that Jet 6 drive. But you know what? He can have everything underneath. I'm not scared anymore. He can have everything underneath. Because I know he has to pass, and I'm going to get no huddle like crazy. But he can have everything underneath. That's what I'm talking about. That's coming back. We're tired of this. We're tired of this. We're tired of this losing all the time. Come on, defense. What you got? Let's go. So I'm playing uh, off of nickel. I'm playing. No, no, this is dime, I think. This is dime cover four, sh cover two, show four. Yep, you can have everything underneath. That's what I want you to do. Waste time. Go no huddle. Just waste time. Let the time run. I'm not giving up any big plays over the top. <clears throat> All the outside big plays is taken away. All those drags underneath, you can have those. I'm giving those away. Yeah, you can have those all day, every day. Yep, there's a drag on me. Missed that one. Just to run. Strip him. Bumbo! Uh-oh, get the ball for out of bounds. Yes. Yes. And this is where he got pissed and he paused the game. I thought he was going to quit. But I think he was just pissed. It's not going his way. Turn this into the Jordan Howard show. Put the ball on the ground. Let it run. Let it run. Let it run. Just run the ball, and if, if you can stop me on three run plays, then hey, it's all to the good. I just kick the field goal, make a three possession game. Run the ball again. Run it again. But yeah, but like I said, he overcommitted back in the end zone. Touchdown. But like I was saying earlier, <coughs> that play, that uh, Jet 6 drive, really, really tough play. You guys should try, like, investigating or putting that play into your playbook. That's one good play that he had that's like, ooh, this is a nice concept. It's high-low, but it's good for, like, using it when your opponent doesn't know. Like, when he first ran it, I didn't know what, it, what that was. But, like, most people, they'll just go. But since he ran, like, three or four plays the whole entire game, it's like once I saw the formation, I already knew it was coming, so I already knew where the opening was going to be. When he read it the first time, he, get that, he had that big gain upfield. Actually, I think he did it twice. And after that, I was like, alright, that's it. I'm not giving him that stuff anymore. Because, you, you know, you do it too much. Like right here, I think he's doing it again. Every time I see this formation, I just automatically know that's what's coming. <coughs> it's the same play. It's the same play. And like I said, your outside receiver has an option to run a drag or just stay still. So that's the... The difference, and then the slot receiver, that Crowder guy, he just runs all the way to the outside. So, but hey, this right here, it's all good to me. Even if he scores, look how much time he's gonna have to waste to get upfield. Like, there's not gonna be any deep threats that I have to worry about or anything. See, there he goes. There goes the play again. See, I see the claw flash takes it away. 
And then you just start dumping underneath and running around. So I'm not giving that up. And that's his only deep threat play that he wants to run. So <coughs> just want to sit here and just cover uh, <laughs> cover of two show four. And yeah, watch him do that all game. Get sacked. Like, I don't think so, man. Expand all our timeouts. And then we're rushing wide, so we're trying to keep him in the pocket as well. Oh, come on. See, remember I turned that off in the beginning of the game? That always happens to me. Like, my guys always jump off sides. It's crazy. Same play. Same play again. I'm trying to keep him in bounds. Oh, I think he still got out of bounds. Fought out of bounds. I saw the angle I took <laughs> to try to tackle him. I was trying to keep him in bounds. Like, no, stay in bounds. <laughs> it's not going to be any getting out of bounds here. Oh, yeah, this is like that. It's a deep post. 80 on the left is running a deep post. And he's going to send the guy in motion. And then they're going to run double drags. Yep. Oh, double drags. And the deep post. I think the guy in the middle that put in the blue zone, he went up the field too, too far. So. But it's the same. Same one. Yeah, counter strikes. Corner strikes. Try to blitz here. And I did get him. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I know the corner strike's coming. He needs he needed to take everything up top, so I wasn't I wasn't afraid of the underneath. Because I know he needed the top, so as long as I got there with the blitz, you know, he wasn't throwing the ball, so. It's corner strikes again. No no, this is double uh drag post. Drag he's looking for Crowder over here on the left to run a deep post. That's what I'm waiting on. So here it comes deep post. See? But he gets sacked. He gets sacked. But it's so crazy though how you be how you're down this much and you still focus on running your same four or five plays. Like they don't even like vary the playbook. Open up your playbook. Get a five wide receiver, four wide receiver set or something. So it just runs off the or maybe that's his playbook. Who knows? I don't know. But it just it's strange to me. Like people are just super committed to their four or five plays. They don't they don't get out of it for nothing. They will live and die by the four or five plays. So. But tries to throw this one deep, and I don't think so. Defense stepped up today. Special team stepped up today. Jordan Howard in offense, they stepped up today too. And then Miller on that catch. That was huge in the first quarter. That big, that fourth and two was huge. That was like a game changer right there. If I didn't make that, I could have been down 14 to 0. So just little things like that add up as the game progresses. So, you know, just good all around game. You know, so hope you guys enjoy this one. <clears throat> on to the next video, guys. If you're new to my channel, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me one time. Bang! And send your comments to the comment section. I generally reply the most. And until next time, fellas, I'll holla at you dudes later. All right, then. One.